Global press freedom is being threatened more than at any time since the Cold War. It has never been more important, and yet is something that too many has taken for granted. According to the Legatum Prosperity Index, freedom of speech and access to information has declined in every region of the world during the past decade, with 120 countries seeing a stark deterioration. Across the globe, journalist safety, freedom from government censorship, political diversity of media perspectives, and freedom of opinion and expression have all been declining sharply over the last 10 years. In recent years, we have also seen journalists being personally targeted as a result of their investigative work, including the tragic murders of several high-profile journalists such as Jamal Khashoggi, Mary Colvin, and Daphne Caruana Galicia. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, more than 1,000 journalists have been killed since 2010. The Middle East and North Africa remains the most dangerous region in the world to be a journalist due to conflict, particularly Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. More recently, since the Russian army invaded Ukraine in February, 15 journalists have been killed reporting on the ground. However, two-thirds of the journalists who have lost their lives since 2010 have died in countries that are at peace. China, Colombia, Algeria, Honduras, India, the Philippines, Mexico and Saudi Arabia are but a few countries where journalists continue to face threats to their lives. Particularly Afghanistan had seen a significant increase of its journalists killed and threatened since the government collapsed to the Taliban. Sadly, in many countries today there is still significant state-sponsored censorship of the press and media. This has manifested itself in an alarming rise in the number of journalists imprisoned for speaking out. In 2021, 488 journalists were behind bars according to Reporters Without Borders, the highest number of journalists imprisoned globally since records began. In China alone, over 100 journalists are known to be currently detained in conditions that pose a threat to their lives. Belarus and Hong Kong are the latest examples of the complete erosion of freedom of speech by brute force despite remarkable civil resistance. Around the world, media freedoms continue to suffer from a rise of authoritarian regimes, a decrease in democratic guarantees, a rise in polarization and repressive policies. More than ever, we need renewed international focus on improving press freedoms. The work of the Legatum Institute shows why a free and independent media is so fundamental to prosperity. It empowers people by ensuring they are informed and able to debate critical issues. It emboldens individuals to speak truth to power and to hold leaders to account. And it provides essential scrutiny and accountability of decision-making at all levels and in all sectors. We owe the men and women who risk and have given their lives for these fundamental values a great debt. We condemn those who seek to target and silence reporters for telling the stories that need to be told. And we stand with journalists all over the world in the pursuit of freedom, justice and truth. <laughs>